In this video, I will explain how to configure SAP S4 HANA to split the cost of goods sold account when we post a goods issue. So instead of having one line item for cost of goods sold, we will have multiple line items based on the cost components of the item we are selling, as you see in this example. So instead of having one line item for cost of goods sold, here I have four line items. And this is very important in SAP S4 HANA because SAP is recommending that we use account-based COOPA or account-based profitability analysis. And if you don't run the cost of goods sold split, you will not have visibility on the split of cost of goods sold in account-based COOPA. And the same concept I'm going to explain today can also be applied to the variances of production and the variances of actual costing in material ledger. So these also can be split based on the cost components of the item that are being produced or being sold. So today I will show you the process and I will also show you the configuration steps on how to do this. I will start by showing you the item that I will use in the demo today. To display the material master data, the transaction is MM03. And this is the material code. And I want to display the costing to view to display the cost estimate. So this is our cost estimate. If I click on current, I already did a full playlist explaining product costing or product cost planning, where I explained how the cost estimates work and also the cost components. So if you have any questions or if there is anything you don't understand, you can check this playlist. Now, in this item, if I go to the cost components, you see that we have raw materials, production, material overhead, and production overhead. So when I post a goods issue, I want SAP to automatically split my cost of goods sold into these components. Now let's go into the process first. So first I'm going to create a sales order and post a goods issue before we do the configuration so we see what is the standard case. Then I will do the configuration and post another goods issue so we can see how SAP will split the cost of goods sold. So to create a sales order, the transaction is VA01. Again, I will fill all the details needed. Insert the customer and the customer reference. The material we are selling is 506. And we are selling five pieces, for example. And save. Then I will post the outbound delivery and the goods issue. So slash n VL01N. Shipping point, and this is our order number. The order is available on 23rd of April. The storage location AG11 and the picked quantity is 5. Post goods issue. Now let's display the financial entry. So go to change or display. Go to the history. And there is the outbound, the, uh, the goods issue. So display the document. Go to document information, FI documents, accounting document. So this is the normal financial entry. We have a debit to the inventory. We have a debit to the cost of goods sold account, and we have a credit to the inventory account with the cost of the item. Now, also, if you check the list of the documents that have been posted, we only have one accounting document. So this is the standard case before we do the cost of goods sold split. Now let me show you the configuration steps on how to configure this. Configuration, we go to SPRO, slash O, SPRO. Then go to Financial Accounting, General Ledger, Periodic Processing, Integration, Material Management, here we have define accounts for splitting the cost of goods sold. Start the transaction. And I already did the configuration before the video. I will explain to you exactly what we do. So first we start by defining a splitting profile. And this is very easy. All you need to do is click here. And for example, let me create another one, AG01. For the controlling area. Enter. And this is it. This is how you define a splitting profile. Then you assign the source accounts. The source account, we assign the cost of goods sold account. This is the account we want SAP to split. 
So if I go to source accounts, here I assigned my cost of goods sold. This is the same account we saw in the financial entry a minute ago. Then we go into strategy sequence. And in my case, I'm only defining one strategy. So the, I will split the cost of goods sold based on the released cost estimate. So this is the current existing cost estimate for the item I'm selling. Then go to target accounts. And here we define the accounts that the cost of goods sold will be split into. So for every cost component, you can assign a different account or the same account. So here, as you see, I have my cost component structure. And then for the raw material cost component, it will go to this account. For the production cost component, it will go to this account and so on. Again, I already explained all of this in the product costing playlist. So you can check it if you don't know what is a cost component structure. And then at the end, you also choose one as a default value, which means that if there are any other cost components that I did not assign in this list, they will all automatically take the value from the default line. Then go to offsetting accounts. And here we define the offsetting account that will clear the cost of goods sold account. Because when we post the goods issue, SAP is going to post two financial entries. The first one is the normal one. So debit to cost of goods sold and the credit to inventory. But then SAP will post a second financial entry, which will credit this item, this account, the offsetting account, and will debit the different cost of goods sold split accounts. I will show you this after we finish the configuration. Then you go to company code settings and you activate this for your company code. It is not activated for my company code now. This is why when we did the example, SAP didn't uh, post the splitting. Now I will activate it for the company code. So AG11 and I will make it active or available from 0101-2021 and assign the cost splitting profile here, EG00 and save. Now, if I try to post another goods issue for my company code, SAP will split the financial entry. So let's go and create another sales order. Again, I will use the same details the same customer and save. Now I'm going to post the outbound delivery and the goods issue 01N. Storage location AG11. Pick the quantity three and post the goods issue. Now let's display the financial entry. Outbound delivery, display, history. Display the goods issue. Document information, FI documents. Now this time, as you see, we have two accounting documents instead of one. So the first one will be the standard entry for, for the goods issue, which is a credit to the inventory and a debit to the cost of goods sold. Then the second entry will be a credit to the clearing account. So this is the offsetting account that we defined in the configuration and it will be credit for the full value of the cost of goods sold. And then we will have debit to the different line items based on the cost of components. So I have raw material, production overhead and production overhead. These are the accounts I just assigned in configuration. And this is it. I hope the video is easy to understand. If you have any questions, you can always leave me a comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.